if y'all don't know, the guys out there with the big old bank rolls, as y'all say it, the, the ones with the M's and the hundreds of thousands of dollars or got to earn, that's getting them an honorable, you know, coin. I do want y'all to understand that the clothes, the cars, the way you act about money, all this is your demise. See, there were many before you who were attached to the money. You had Sammy the Rat, who took out all his damn associates damn near just because they was in business with him. <laughs> you had that rat, Rayful Edmund Means, or whatever the way you say his middle name, he's a kitten kind of a man. You know, he took time out and said, ho, ho, game was fair until y'all was sending my mom to jail. Now I'm becoming a rat. You had individuals that just didn't care. You had a whitey bulger who looked at it as, you know, I'm going to be the individual, man, who get power from being a rat. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you know anything about real, real, real bad guys at a time coming up, you'll have understanding they never wanted to play the good guy on no part. But youngest, you won't get an understanding and see your man has spent a hundred thousand on Yeezys and a bunch of shirts and hoodies and cars and he know he don't got his re-up money. He's going to be lost when them people come. He's not going to be able to stand firm because he's going to say, damn, I'm going to have to wear state boots all my life or my woman isn't going to be able to get the bag from me. She's going to have to get it from somewhere else. She's going to have to be on Instagram twerking. Well, I got to say this to you with honors. There is no way, shape, or form I'm carrying a dishonor where money comes first in my life over anything. And some may say, well, you know, Ernie, you're not a millionaire. You're not a billionaire. So you're not the richest guy, so you don't know real money. I'm going to say I have had my fair share and I understand real cash. But at the end of the day, it's not about cash when they come. And that's what y'all have to understand. Because a lot of y'all have to get prepared for when they come. A lot of y'all don't have bail money. And you know your man just saw you situate something. You know that man of yours, that friend of yours, he knows about just about any and everything that you have going on. And you have understanding that he will tell on you. And it goes for the ladies also. So I should say he or she. But many times we are blinded by the coin. Many times we are blinded by the finances. There's a woman somewhere right now who has a man who's involved in drugs. And at home is in his name. I tell you, sweetheart, get it out of his name now. Tell him if he loves you to get it out of his name now because when they come, they're going to take it. And guess what? It may take you along with it. But if you get it in your name and if he stays away from your home and y'all get another spot somewhere where y'all can just play lover's lane there because you may lose because most men who are attached to the woman where they spend time with them 24-7 hours a week and that woman isn't of no caliber of from the streets or have no understanding from her mother or her father that you take the bitter with the sweet when well, you're in a bad position here. And guess what? It's going to continue to go on like that because individuals are going to feel like they have to have money. And these times right here and in inflation, there are a lot of people that are still faking like they have it just to their woman and getting up every day, faking an account, faking like they have it in order to keep this person. Well, guess what? That's your rat. That's your weakling there. Because a real solid man, he'll make sure it does what it do, but he's not giving up more than what he can give because he understands generational wealth. No matter how much money he has, 
he understands that he should put up for a rainy day. And a lot of us are going to miss this. And I missed it when I was in the streets. And I wound up in a can broke with not a coin with only a little bit of money to pay my lawyer. And that ended up becoming a problem. My grandmother had to help me. So I want to tell everybody right now today, turn around and look at your friend with honor and say, what you know, what you give it to them in order to free yourself to be with your girl. Because if that's the case, you need to get away from me and go your separate way. Because I chose a different lifestyle, a different mindset, and take your money and invest in something that maybe you can keep. Because believe it or not, somehow they can get you to sign it over legally. These contractors, these you know, big corporate individuals that you think or somebody can get you to sign everything over to them legally just by the fact they know that you could go to jail. And once you go to jail, everything stops. I'm King Gurner from the Honor Your Life campaign. The goal is stay focused. Stay focused. If you're a millionaire out there and you're lost about honor, if you're a millionaire out there and you're trying to figure out why the honor isn't restored and you want to support King Gurner, well, support me with the honorable coin, but I'm going to let you know, I don't value it and I don't honor it. King Erna live and direct. We're going to die with our honor and our principles and our morals. That's our deeds. Islam teaches you that. Live and direct.